And the moon beaky look. Tia, you're six years old from Mumbai. And you're asking how does he have so much urine to keep marking his territory? That is a really, really good question. Just like dogs, if you've ever spent time with domestic dogs, they don't scoosh that much. I always call it the scoosh pouch. They are able to store urine that is... <laughs> These lapwings are very unhappy. Can you hear them? They are not happy to gun us here. Okay, let's go round Beaky. He's gonna drink. Let's go round. So yes, they store urine in a special pouch. I call it the scoosh pouch, but that is really not the correct name. And they just scoosh a little bit at a time. They keep topping it up as they hydrate and we're about to see him drink. And the full moon. Oh, this makes up for my... Tingana is drinking. And the blacksmith lapwings ding, 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 are very unhappy about this. So yes, they're able to store urine and hold it back. Just like us, once our bladder gets full, we don't have to completely empty it. And this is the, this contains their marking fluid. He's going to be drinking for quite some time. Let's watch. So catch drink for a really long time. Tangana will be doing this for quite some time because he doesn't actually get that much water from his tongue into his mouth. He doesn't scoop it like a dog does. It's completely different. He's darting his tongue in and out so, so fast that he's actually trying to defy gravity and get the smallest amount of water into his mouth at the one time. Oh, these lap wings are really not happy. <laughs> He's a thirsty boy, that's for sure. Emma, you're 11 years old and you're asking how many leopards are on this reserve. There's three main dominant ones, and this is Tungano, the male, Tandy, a female, who he's mated with many times and produced beautiful offspring, and their daughter, Klalamba, Tandy and Tungano's daughter. They are the dominant ones that are in Juma. But we get lots of other leopards that come in. Maybe their territories border onto Juma, or maybe they're just passing through. So we have Mulwati and his territory, he's a male and his territory is a little bit of a mystery to me, but I'm working on it. And we think that he is the other dominant male on Juma, but we just don't get to see him that often. He's not like Tungano, he's very shy, very skittish. We also have a male leopard called Hukamure, who looks like a little bit of a gangster. He's only got one eye and he comes into Juma from the West. Well, the little western section of our reserve belongs to Hukumuri, and he's probably Tangana's enemy. We also have other females that pop into our reserve, and that will be Shidulu, Sabui, very rarely Kuchava. So there's lots of leopards that may pop into Juma, but the three main dominant ones are the one that I mentioned, Tangana, Tandi, and Kalamba. Oh no, Tangana, please don't go into this drainage.